Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. shot and killed while watching a softball game is demanding justice. Today they gathered outside City Hall to be heard. Channel 2's Michael Seiden spoke exclusively with them. Michael's live now with their powerful message tonight. Michael. Hey, Linda, tonight marks two months uh, since tragedy uh, hit this park, in fact, right here on this softball field. Uh, tonight, the family of April Sparks, they are demanding answers. They say enough is enough. It's time to come forward and help police crack this case. You know who you are. You know who you are. And I didn't stutter when I said, come forward, be accountable, and don't be a coward. Surrounded by his family and friends, the grieving uncle of Amber Sparks delivered this emotional plea outside Atlanta City Hall Friday, calling out to the community for help. If you know something, you should say something. Because in our eyes, you are just as guilty as the person or the cowards that pulled the trigger. She was just there, you know, to enjoy a Sunday for softball game. But on the night of August 7th, that pickup softball game with friends at Dunbar Recreation Center turned deadly after police say an argument escalated into gunfire. By the time the bullets stopped flying, six people have been shot. Amber Sparks and 31-year-old Rashad Rogers did not survive. Four others were also hit by the gunfire, including little Serenity Stevens. The six-year-old survived after getting shot nine times. According to her mother, who posted her story on this GoFundMe page, she's now recovering at home with her family. We're hurt. We're still upset. Uh, we know that April's in a better place, but that doesn't change how we feel. Hey, we want to apologize to the friends and family of April Sparks for that uh, mispronunciation on the name. Now, we did reach out to Atlanta police trying to find out if investigators have any suspects, but they tell us right now this is an ongoing investigation. Again, no one is under arrest. We'll stay on top of this story. For now, we are live in Southwest Atlanta. Michael Seiden, Channel Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.